Hey guys, welcome back. Ash von Chamier, owner of Rough Cut Productions down in Tallahassee, Florida, and I'm going to throw you a tidbit of information today, and this is a quickie and a really useful tip. If you don't know how to do it, it is super fun, it's super easy. Uh, you just need to know that it exists for one thing. I didn't even know exactly what to title this video because <clears throat> so many people kind of call it different things. Um, but basically what we're talking about doing is achieving slow motion, but in real time. <laughs> So guys, this is a quick tip today, and it is a good one. If you don't know about this, a super cool trick. This is where you want to achieve the look of slow motion that you're actually, you are filming slow motion, but then it actually plays in time, in particular with music videos, in time with everything that's being played or sang. We'll have all the guitar players gone. So how does that happen? How can it be in slow-mo, but the song itself audibly is not in slow-mo and it's playing through, and yet they look like they're in slow-mo, but they're actually singing it in real time. And the trick to that is this. Step one, you gotta make a version of that song that is twice the speed, exactly twice the speed. So you can drop that into your editor, put it at 200%, export it. Now you've got a song that's at exactly twice the speed. Uh, you can also hit the maintain audio pitch on there so it doesn't sound completely like chipmunks. They need to perform to that double time song for takes. I really recommend having the performer rehearse to this a little bit, let them have it beforehand so they can get some sense of what it's like. It's very, very different. The song has to be a bit slower. If it's super fast, this isn't gonna work. Trying to perform the song at that speed and getting them to feel natural, look natural, and get them to groove with it so that way you get the energy that you'd want. So the song that's four minutes is now gonna be a two minute song. So every take that you do is two minutes. So really your data load ends up evening out. If the frame rate doubles your data load, then this is gonna end up taking up the same amount of data as if you were filming it at 24 frames per second because the song's gonna be half the length. You'll actually end up with just as many takes, just as much data. So there's not too much of an issue there. Once you've filmed as many takes as you feel like you need to get of your band performance or singer performance, whatever it is, you bring it back, you put it in your editor, and you're gonna put every clip at 50% speed. And you'll see that now the two minute song goes back to being a four minute song. And then you can drag in your audio, the actual recording of the song that you want to be making a music video to. Put it in there and line the two up mute that track that was at double speed and you're in business and you'll see this magic just start to take place before you where they're singing or performing in slow-mo but it's in time with every beat of the song and it's an awesome look super fun but again it only really works if the song is slow enough that you can make that thing double time and they're gonna be able to perform to it. So if it is a faster song, maybe the instrumentation can't work out for the double time, but maybe the singer can't. If it's a slower, you know, more drawn out, bigger notes, or you can sing, do it for parts of your video. In fact, both times, I've done this a couple times now, and in both music videos that I did it, I also filmed regular takes as well. And I liked going back and forth between those in the video, so it changed the energy levels. And I'd go to the slow-mo stuff to really accentuate certain parts where the song was either changing a bunch or it hit a chorus. You know, just ways to like, kind of make it more dramatic in those areas and stand out. Are you interested in knowing more? Well, let me know by subscribing, throw a like on there, and I will catch you on the next episode. You can always expect a new one every Thursday, plus some occasional other ones throughout the week as well. I'm trying to put out a couple a week. Anyway, take care, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Movie Voice. Are you Unforgivable cat And you Unforgivable cat
Mm-hmm.